The World Belong to Us. Written by Jacqueline Woodson. Illustrated by Leo Espinosa. In Brooklyn in the summer, not so long ago, grown-ups always had some place to be or some kind of work to do. But the minute school ended, us kids were free as air, free as sun, free as summer. And even before school ended, the street got so hot that someone always found a wrench to turn the hydrant on and someone else fanned a soup can to scrape against the curb till the top and bottom were gone and it wasn't a soup can anymore. It was a super shooter. And our mamas opened the windows and hollered, don't get your school clothes wet. But we had to run through the water, book bags and all, because our teacher's final words had been, have a good summer. Our only plan on that last day of school was to take what they said seriously. In Brooklyn, in the summer not so long ago, my mom would straighten my hair for school with a hot comb, then twist it into spiraling curls that she said should last a while. But they only lasted until I ran head first into the hydrant, and quick as that, my hair sprung back from straightened curls to natural coils. Because it was finally summer, and hair too had a right to be free. From the end of breakfast to the beginning of dinner, every single day, all summer long, we played in the street, shooting bottle caps we filled with tar across chalk-drawn scully boards. We spun tops and learned to take turns, and flicked our double dutch ropes into blurs, singing, not last night, but the night before, a nickel and a pickle came a-knocking at my door. And we jumped, and we ran, and we played. And the whole wide world felt like it belonged to us. And some days, we scraped our knees, but there was always an older kid nearby who'd say, It's gonna be alright, and might even tell us stories about being our age about stitches and broken arms. And if someone said, boys don't cry, some big boy always said, oh yeah? And had a story about the time he cried and cried until our eyes grew wide and our hurt knees forgotten. There was always some kind of new fun. We built forts out of enormous boxes, then admired what we made together. We said, you sure can draw, and you sure can build, and you sure can jump, and you sure can sing, and we meant it. In Brooklyn, in the summer not so long ago, it was easy to believe that anything was possible when a guy from our block was good enough to play for the Mets and a girl from our block sang on a big stage in Manhattan. And a woman someone's cousin knew wrote a whole book about Brooklyn. And someone always had a ball and a stick to hit it with or a stoop to throw it against. And if they didn't, we found a soda can and played steal the bacon and kick the can. In Brooklyn, in the summer, not so long ago, we learned to watch and listen, playing tag, Ringo Livio, and hide and seek inside hallways and behind thin limbed trees and garbage cans. And our block was the whole wide world, and the world belonged to us. Afternoons, when we heard the beautiful sound of an ice cream truck, we yelled up to our mothers, Can I have 50 cents for a cone with rainbow sprinkles? And sometimes our mothers wrapped change into scarves and tossed them down to us. 
and our scarves of money held high became a parade of kids chasing a truck with our own song. Wait, wait, we want a cone. Then we shared with the friends with no money because some days the ones with no money were us. In Brooklyn in the summer, not so long ago, we didn't need doorbells or telephones, just two hands to cup around our mouths and a voice loud enough to be heard. So we called out to each other in, in Spanish, in English, in Polish, in German, in Chinese. And we ruled the block in all of our languages playing and playing and playing until dusk fell and the street lights came on. And one by one, our mothers raised their windows again, this time to call us home. So we said, to be continued. We said, you're still it. We said, don't forget, it was my turn. We said, wear your green shirt and I'll wear mine. We said, what are you having for dinner? Maybe I can eat over tomorrow. And as our words echoed out over the block like a lullaby we'd always remember, I ran up the stairs of my stoop already excited about tomorrow, and the tomorrow after that, and the many tomorrows to come. Not just in Brooklyn, not just in the summer, but everywhere I ever go and always.